Hi Pisces, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Pisces and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Oh, keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there, and that way you'll always get an email notification every time my availability does open up. And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you've supported the channel. And let's go ahead and dive in. Whew. Hello. Okay. Ah, oh, I love when the Empress makes an appearance. Okay. Um, Pisces, I know that... I feel as though there's um, someone, like, this could be your mother, <laughs> like, or, and then we have the King of Cups, and it's interesting because I feel like this is also, this is like your own internal process, but you've got someone else on the other side, and I'm just saying that because we have the sword, you, <laughs> which is such a Pisces energy to me. What have I always told you guys? Pisces to me... They can be very secretive. It's like you like to be <laughs> the unseen, you know? You don't really like to be seen. There's a bunch of things I was picking up on before your reading. So you could also be attracting like two sides of empresses over this next week. Because I feel like you're shifting into this energy. This is the higher version of yourself. Like this is the future version of yourself that you're shifting into. So you might be going through steps to like a lot of self-care, a lot of self-love, trying to nurture yourself and transform yourself, not in just ways, seriously, I'm not even going to get all judgy and weird about this, but it's not just a pedicure and a manicure, it's legit, like, alchemizing. Mother wounds are around um, self-care, you know, so even simple things like getting up, taking a shower, brushing your teeth, working out, taking care of your body. It's certain things like that. So you guys might be dealing with that. That And it, it doesn't just have to be things like that. It's also connected to your spiritual aspect. Pisces is so freaking spiritual. So you might be doing things like meditation. Don't get caught up on genders because this is for all people. So for those male Pisces, this is also probably what you could be going through because we have the King of Cups. Yeah. So here's what I think is happening. There's so many things I'm getting from this. It's like you guys also have might have multiple people just blocked at this time. Nobody can see you at this time. Nobody can see what's going on with you. They're like, where's Pisces? I don't know. You're just like in the unseen world right now you're just like gone checked out making yourself somewhat invisible because you're you're just like you're focusing your focus is really intent on something okay so even for some of you guys this could be two people that you currently have like boundaries with right now or you have blocked i also feel as though there's another situation coming in um what I was picking up on before, there could be some type of thing that you guys are involved in. I don't know if you guys are in some type of environment or you're entangling with some relationships right now currently, but I was kind of picking up on before the reading that there's certain things that you've learned from your transformation and it's like people could be looking up to you in a, in a little bit of a way and it's... It's like you are giving whatever information that you can, but it's like they, uh, how do I say this? They don't, they can't really like force the transformation. It's like people are in certain challenging situations right now and, and you're, they might be looking up to you, looking to you because you're more of like the spiritual Pisces is the 12th house. Like, so you've been through shit. Like usually Pisces, they're so flexible and fluid, like the fish, you know, that whole symbolism. And it's because, like, I've heard, I read one where that Pisces is the embodiment of all the signs. Like, that's why they seem a little bit fluid or flexible. And even sometimes that they, like, merge in with environments is because they're very adaptable. 
and and it's because like in astrological terms like you've been through all the houses like you've been through all the signs and so in a way you've mastered all them but in the pisces realm like you're still mastering the house of self undoing like or self sabotage oh look at that we popped out on the ground look at that and i am going to take it in reverse which i never do but it's coming out in reverse you have the devil in reverse i love it I think that you're releasing something cool. Like you're you're kind of like drawing this line in the sand or you're really clear now. Like at times you might go a little bit back and forth with your emotions, but the more that you are diving into a specific thing with your self-care, it's like it's taking care of something emotionally and it's releasing some type of shadow energy from you. Whatever that is. Now look at this. Look at this. The more that you have, you're like dropping some type of addiction that you have either to a person or food or whatever chemical thing that you might feel a little bit addicted to, look at the wheel freaking turning because your chemical makeup is shifting and look what's going to come in. We have the page of wands. Yeah, I love that. Gotta, yeah. Okay. That's a new, um, that's a new attraction straight up. Let's see. Let me see what that is about. That's good. I love when the Wheel of Fortune is coming out. Because guess what? That's also Jupiter energy. And Jupiter is in Pisces. So it's a very good luck time for Pisces right now. Like you might be experiencing that. Nice. Okay. So look at this. Um, I feel like this transition time that you might be going through. I don't know if this is currently. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. So you might be still a little bit cautious because I feel like you're still kind of transitioning away from some type of chaos. I mean, the devil does. The devil causes instability in you, okay? It causes your life to fall out of balance. So some of you guys, there could have been some relocation that happened here. Let me see what else pops up. Four of Pentacles. Oh, but this is the new person. <laughs> okay, Pisces, this is going to go in a specific order. There's almost like one connection or like a codependent relationship in your life that you're releasing or you've just got some firm boundaries up with that right now. Or you're just, that's what your intentions are. Um, oh yeah, Pisces, I love it. Okay, look at this. Um... I get the sense that there's like some type of new connection that's come in recently. Like, I don't know if this is a friend or a romantic interest. It feels like a very fiery person, okay? And I feel as though um, there's a little bit of some like chaos, just a little bit here. This Four of Pentacles that could be some type of a closed off. It's It's almost like... Oh, Pisces, this is what I feel like is happening. This is going to be weirdly, however this resonates with you. As you've been moving away from the devil energy, you've had to kind of like maybe be cautious with your finances because sometimes even the devil energy can affect your finances, like addiction, addictive patterns, like spending habits even. So maybe you've had to be a little bit more cautious or frugal with money. That energy, like that maybe fear that you've been trying to release it actually put up some type of blockage in another arena in your life. Like it's kind of, it manifests in all different avenues. Like it can manifest in your business or it can manifest in your connections, however that plays out for you. So I feel as though someone might be kind of get getting fired up. That page of wands is kind of like, a, it's a flame, you know? Someone could be feeling a little bit fired up about something that they perceive to be selfish and this is why i'm saying all of this because we have the five of wands so there could be a little bit of like competition conflict and which i like though because you're moving away from it and i'm actually going to take it in that specific order because we have four five and six so 
it's whatever conflict or drama that you have experienced or whatever, it's reflecting some inner conflict that you have in some area in your life. Like something that you have, you've, you've wanted to release, you've, you want to open up and maybe this is just like, you're wanting to open up your energy again and release from this like toxic period. The wheel is turning definitely, but it's almost like there's something here coming in about another connection. It could be like, so I feel like someone's like angry with you and it, which is interesting because i never really get that with pisces but you might have someone that comes in and this doesn't have to be totally huge but it could just be something kind of small like some type of um someone gets a little bugged or they say something that's kind of like uh i feel like you're just gonna move away from it six of swords like move away from the chaos and just kind of move extricate yourself from the situation but look what's coming in you got, look what's literally coming in. The Three of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. That's your ships coming in. I feel like there's these new connections that you're making. Because there's a Page of Cups and the freaking Sun card. You're the only card. You're the only person, or no. Yeah, you're the only one that got this Sun card this week. So, that's good. Things are starting to come in. Things are starting to shift. The Wheel of Fortune is showing that. It's like the results of even your own emotions. I feel like things could have been through pretty thick for a time, like pretty heavy. Like you were going through, and maybe it was your own emotions. Like you were just feeling the emotions behind some type of a situation. Like I said, it could be connected to your mother or someone that was energetically reflective of your mother. But here's the other thing that I was getting. Five of Wands, there's some people around you that like, uh, I just feel like they're wanting answers or solutions from you. But there's like not a lot that you can do because I think just what you've known from your transformation process that like people just have to go through it themselves. So even when it comes to giving answers to other people, there's like not a lot that you can really do, but people are coming to you for that. I don't know why I'm getting that. Um, also, yeah, it feels like there's a new connection coming in here that's really, really positive. And it's the beginning signs. There could be three of wands. It could be the beginning signs of more stable relationships coming in. It could be some type of environment. Three of pentacles is some type of collaboration. So I don't know if you guys are in some type of like group situation or you're collaborating with or you have a coach or something like that. There's something here where you're going to make some new emotional connections or some new friends or a new love interest. I'll dive into that for sure. That's good though. I love this. Okay, let's grab the door here. Oh, too many. Hold on. Draw down the moon. Okay, there's your door opening and there it is. Draw down the moon. The forest nymphs. Dance in sheer delight, singing soft songs, tell us in the wild, good night. This is connected to the moon cycle. So um, also, if you guys are super aware, if you feel more emotions around the moon, it's because there's some, not only are there entanglements, but it could also be something going on internally within your body. That devil card can sometimes be like, to me, it's free radicals or parasites. Sorry, I know nobody wants to hear that, but it's legit. And if you're feeling more emotional around the moon, that could be the cause. Just letting you guys know, FYI. But I'll dive into the extended <laughs> on that positive note. So Pisces, if you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.